This project have been awarded in difficult time. It was recession, so uh, it was in our favor to have good price. We saved maybe more than hundred million dollar by just adjusting the award time to take advantage of the economics. So there is, you know, uh, excellent background on this. And then the way it was managed, we have you know steering committee followed up from the top of the two companies, Admaoko and the uh, NPCC and very integrated team approach. The total cost of this project is more than $1 billion. It integrates work of three companies, well aligned through Adnuk Corporate, and the objective basically to respond to demand of the government to flourish Abu Dhabi economy and to uh, basically sustain growth by supplying 1 billion cubic feet of gas. The IGD project consists of two major projects, IGD Wellhead Tower and IGD Hub. IGD Wellhead Tower consists of two identical Wellhead Towers uh, connected via 24-inch subsea pipelines to the IGD Hub. Each Wellhead Tower is capable of producing around 360 MMS CFD of gas with a provision of three additional slots for future use and expansion. Just like any other project, you would expect to see so many challenges there. But with the great support of management, we were able to go through them and convert these challenges into success stories. We faced severe complexity in mitigating the risk of lateral buckling in our two IGD pipelines. The risk in the high temperature pipeline is mainly because of the high temperature of the pipeline. We forced the subsea pipeline to act as a very long heat exchanger for itself. And we used the seawater as an infinite cooling media for the pipeline. So it's, it turned it to a, a regular temperature pipeline. And that's the simplicity and the beauty of it. We believe within a couple of years that the application will spread everywhere. It's a very simple idea, very simple to apply, no cost, but the safety level is another order of magnitude. IGD Hub is the first project that we have integrated full integrity assurance from the assets through the define to the execution phase. Such as we have carried out intelligent begging as a baseline inspection for the subsea line, which is before it's handed over to the operations. The other challenge we had to this project was during the feed or the front-end engineering. It's a basic design done in Houston, where the team was geographically away from the company. And so you can imagine how difficult it can get to get the right support in the in timely manner. There, I believe our team has done an excellent and outstanding job. We had the right leadership at the project level. On the job, we had, we had a good teamwork, we were uh, competent, motivated people, uh, and uh, we performed well. That's uh, leadership uh, at the project level. To meet the expectations of so many people is one of the challenging assignment. We had a lot of commitment from our uh, CEO, from the CEO onwards, with our senior vice president, our management team. They are totally committed to deliver the project in time. They want to reinforce that Edmopo is capable of delivering projects of magnitude on a consistent basis, not once in a while. So this is demonstrated that one. My involvement was during the detailed engineering, where we reviewed the drawings and procedures provided by the contractors. From the technical side, uh, I learned that um, integrating all disciplines is the major key success of any execution. It's very important to plan the early bit of the project. So we have ensured that the engineering team have moved in really early and we tackled all the procurement matters in the earliest, shortest time to ensure that all the equipment and material are delivered really on time to site for us to start fabrication the earliest. Once the fabrication is done, we had to do all the commissioning right here at the site. So when we went offshore, we have to do really least work because it was, the whole thing was already tested, system by system, element by element, loop by loop. So when we reached there, it was an easy job to accomplish the commissioning of the project. From the HSC point of view, that we did have a strong impact on the eventual design and construction 
In terms of construction, the lost time incident record is second to none. I'm not quite sure how many million hours, but they were certainly in the range of about 10 million without any accidents at all. Which is a good achievement, bearing in mind, it's a dangerous construction industry as well, both onshore and offshore. To go offshore, to install at around 10,000 tons of steel, it's not that simple. We are uh, working against weather, tide, anything could happen. There is no cranes in the area can lift uh, such topside. It's a very heavy structure. As NPC Adma, we decided to go with the float over method. When you decide to start the operation, there is no way back. There is no way back. You have to continue. Being an offshore project, it adds a very interesting dimension to the project. We've been faced with many harsh environmental conditions, so it's really pushed us to the limit and uh, it helped us to excel. And uh, I would say that this project will be taken as a benchmark for all future projects in Admoka. most important thing that I'm really, really proud of and the company is proud of is to complete the project with no LTI, having really consumed and worked like over 8 million man hours, no zero LTI. That has been our objective in all projects. It was an objective in this project and we have achieved it and we are very proud of it. We are proud here in ADMA that we have introduced such an innovative technology or innovative setup to the whole industry. We believe that the industry is in need for a step change. And we believe that we can make it. And I think our belief came through. Was you see that huge thing, heavy thing, resting on the pre-installed jacket? Yeah, just clap your hand and yes, we did it. This is an excellent project. You never could see a project like this being completed within the budget with no problems at all. So it's one of the rarest of, uh, rarest of the rare projects. Competency, loyalty, ownership, collaboration, and alignment. These are some of the keywords I learned in this project and I've seen them shining more than anything else, and I will never forget that. I'm proud because this project basically one of the best project delivery we had in Adma. From quality point of view, from HSC records and performance, but more importantly, it will achieve the target of delivering additional 1 billion cubic feet of gas.